giving back no matter the cost. Uh, I've got firefighters from Pensacola, Panama City, Tallahassee, Jacksonville, Gainesville, Alachua County, Marion County, Mavard County, both Orange County and City of Orlando. They call it Camp Amigo, a week-long getaway in Cape San Blas, created by firefighters for children who have survived severe burns. We've went from when I was starting it out, me begging for 50 bucks from people that, and now people send me money and I don't even know who it is. Saturday, Roberts and his crew making a pit stop in Tallahassee for supplies. We're gonna cook this tonight, this is our setup. Roberts is in his 16th year in charge, and he says over the years, he's seen the camp triple in size. The value of these products is in the name, just like Camp Amigo, which actually got its name from three of its original members. Three girls who'd never met each other showed up the first day at camp and were best buddies and we called them the three amigos. We were such good friends and it just stuck. One of those amigos, Cassandra Null, she's been a camper since she was a child. Cassandra says one day she was playing with a lighter and accidentally lit her clothes on fire, suffering severe injury. But she says Camp Amigo has become home. It's so special because all these other kids, including myself when I was younger, we get to be around other people who have been burned, and so you know you're not the only one. Nobody thinks about your burns while you're there. Nobody looks at you differently. Everybody's the same, and we can talk about it. Conversations that turn into lifelong friendship and memories. In Tallahassee, Michael Hudak, WCTV Eyewitness News.